All right then guys, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here as always and today we're going to be kickstarting the legend reviews. That's right guys, I'm really excited to get the legend reviews for FIFA 16 Ultimate Team underway uh, and today we're going to be starting off with the 86 rated English striker Teddy Sheringham. Now I wanted to try this guy out because not only because he's one of the only uh, legends that I can afford at this moment in time but Sheringham in the past uh, couple of Ultimate Teams, you know FIFA 14 and 15, even though he's been one of the lower rated legends and one of the legend strikers that doesn't necessarily look that great in game I, I don't know why he just seems to outperform or in the past for me has seemed to outperform pretty much every single stat and I've had an absolute blast uh, using him and also in FIFA 15 and FIFA 14 I have said that he is definitely worth the coins and as to go as far to say he's one of the better striker legends in my opinion. This year I am so happy to tell you that even though he's one of my uh, the only legend that I have used so far I gotta say he is absolutely fantastic and I will definitely uh, you know um further down the road obviously compare him to the other legend strikers and let you know who is better but like i said as of right now though guys teddy sheringham is the first and only legend that i have used as of right now and he, he was just absolutely fantastic for me you know i'm so glad to be able to say that yet again teddy sheringham is absolutely fantastic and again he just seems to outperform most of his stats you know but saying that though guys i did find uh, a couple of weaknesses a couple of setbacks that i do need to mention if you guys are thinking of going out uh, and buying Sheringham for yourself. The weaknesses that I did find is that his passing for me uh, was fairly dreadful. Now, passing in Ultimate Team in this game, FIFA 16, is something that I think all of us need to get used to and, uh, you know, uh, utilise more in this game compared to past Ultimate Teams. It's the way EA have made the game. Um, and passing in my strikers is something that I've never really needed or wanted in the past. But this year, I'm thinking twice about it because, like I said, passing is something what of a necessity in this game uh, and passing for me was sharing him was terrible I was getting him on the ball and he was just giving the ball away left right and center I did get lucky a handful of times I think it was two or three assists that he did manage to bag for me uh, but other than those occasions guys his, his passing was dreadful and the other weakness guys that I do need to mention with this card is that his dribbling and ball control for me really really was bad you know getting him on the ball and just trying to turn direction it was so slow he was so sluggish on the ball um, and the way that dribbling and ball control works on this game dribbling with the players with higher dribbling stats still isn't the greatest or at least from the players that I've used anyway so to have somebody with low dribbling it just makes it absolutely dreadful to dribble and turn direction with the players so definitely something to keep in mind uh, if you are thinking of buying sharing them for yourself now that moves me on to the positives that I did find with this card and there are quite a few guys pretty much everything other than the weaknesses really is pace for me was awesome he does have 78 pace uh, on the card I gotta give a thumbs up to that stat guys he felt like 78 pace he was outpacing a lot of defenders and as soon as he found a little bit of space and I got him into some free space uh, he was gone guys and to couple the fact that he had decent pace for me guys his strength surprisingly for me uh, was really awesome as well now when he did manage to hit his top sprint speed uh, the defenders that did manage to catch up to him I could see had trouble muscling him off the ball uh, so that made me enjoy using him that much more as well guys positioning for me was fantastic he was a striker that was always in the position that I needed him to be in uh, and he was always making runs I did manage to use uh, sharing him in multiple formations guys I used him in a solo striker formation which has turned out to be uh, my favorite formations in FIFA 16 ultimate team I don't know what it is but every formation uh, any of the four three threes um, stuff like that I seem to play better with those formations but I did try using him as a duo striker the four four two the four one two one two both variations um and the what was the other one the four three one two but sharing them definitely performed better for me as a solo striker um don't know what it is maybe it's just my play style uh, but that was it for me guys and his positioning in pretty much any of the formations though i gotta say he was top notch and he's also got the perfect work rate for a striker as well guys which does help the fact that his positioning was awesome you know he does have high attacking work rate uh, and low defensive another thumbs up for a striker guys 
guys. His weak foot for me was pretty awesome and very, very reliable, especially inside the box. He does have three star skills and three star weak foot. So Skillers, probably not the best player for you to go for because you know you're not gonna have as much fun with this card as you would others. But if you're not if you're not that fussy about skill guys like me and all you need is three star, then it's a big thumbs up and three star weak foot. I gotta disagree with that stat and say he felt a hell of a lot better for me, guys. He managed to challenge keepers on a regular basis from a distance very very easily and he managed to finish most of the opportunities that he did manage to get inside the box with his left foot guys so i gotta say his weak foot is definitely not a weakness and the last positive guys that i do need to mention is that his aerial ability for me was pretty awesome now aerial ability and scoring goals with a player's head from corners and crosses and whatnot from what i've felt in the game that's pretty much dead now you know i never do it nobody ever scores headers against me um, and whenever I watch a YouTube video or anything, headers, goals are not included. But aerial ability for me with Sheringham was awesome. He scored a couple of goals from corners for me. He was winning the ball all the time from goal kicks and stuff like that. So I got to say, aerial ability was a massive, massive plus. Now saying all that, guys, I've got to say Sheringham is a fantastic striker. I really did have a blast using him. And I got to say, even though he is worth around 300,000 coins, I think it is, this early on in Ultimate Team, that is a lot of coins to spend on a single player i gotta say he's definitely worth it i'm gonna give him a final score guys of 9.5 out of 10 let me know in the comment section down below guys your thoughts on sharing him if you have used him this early on in ultimate team don't forget to drop a like as well on this video if you did enjoy and it did help you decide whether or not to buy sharing him for yourself and also hit that subscribe button today for more legend reviews to come soon guys we're going to be doing a review on every single legend on this game like we have in the past and that's going to wrap up this video guys as always from me please take care and i will see you all next time. Ta-da guys!